Um, yeah, and this one I definitely have to look up the formula. I don't have it memorized. So let me have the thing set up for looking up the formula <laughs> from the textbook. Um, so this uh, question asks, the mean free, or it tells you, the mean free path for some molecule, methane, I don't think I know the formula for methane. I don't need to know, I'm a physicist, not a chemist. At a temperature, T, and a pressure, okay, P, is, uh, it's giving me the mean free path lambda. Find the effective radius R of the methane molecule, okay? So I do know the textbook talks about mean free path, and I know there's a formula in the textbook. And this is one of those formulas that I've never bothered to memorize, because frankly, I never really use it. Um, except in this one question. So uh, all that really matters is that I know where to look it up. So I believe it's going to be under molecular model of an ideal gas. So let me look it up there and see if it's there. If it's not there, then I'll skim through the next few sections, hoping to find it. So I'm just going to skimming through, uh, looking for the formulas, which will say something along the line of mean free path. You can also use the search function of your online textbook. That's perfectly fine. That's probably more efficient than what I'm doing now. Uh, Van the walls. Uh, is it not here? Okay, it's not here. Let me look at the next section. Maybe it's there. If it's not here, I might use the search function to find it. Average kinetic energy, uh, we are MS, okay. Paper pressure, partial pressure, okay, those, uh, uh, there is a mean free path and mean free time, okay. And it's telling me, ah, that's the formula for mean free path. Um, oh, oh, I have to make sure I take this. So, okay. Um, so I can take this expression here and uh, I did, you know, it's not the mean free path I want. I'm given that. I'm actually asked for the radius there. So I need to solve this for radius. In the interest of time, <laughs> just gonna do this in my head. Let's hope that I'm not making any mistake when I do that. So the radius should be um, the V, wait. Is it V velocity or what is V? Uh, uh, v is the, the, so I think I'm gonna use a V over, that's not the formula I should use. I should use this formula so that I can use the given thermodynamical quantities, temperature and pressure. So let me do that. I'm still solving for R. So solving for R, R, is equal to Boltzmann constant times temperature divided by the mean free path times of four times the square root of two times pi times pressure square rooted. So what I did in my head is I moved R squared over, lambda over, took the square root. And uh, yeah, I think that's a formula I can plug into Wolfram Alpha. I have all the numbers. I, all I have to do is just type it in. Boltzmann constant times temperature, uh, so 267 Kelvin, divided by mean free path, 4.81 times 10 to the power of minus 8 meters um, times 4 times the square root of 2 times pi times pressure, 1.11 times 10 to the power of 5 Pascal. Um, Square root closed. I think that's it. If I made any mistake, other than any unitless quantities, I uh, will be able to notice it by looking at the unit. So, looks like it understood me correctly. And yeah, I'm given answer in meters. Good. 10 to the power of minus 10. Good. Um, so, 1.971 times 10 to the minus 10 meters. Yeah. And I gotta be honest here that I have no number sense for this mean free path. I um, I guess the only way I might make sense of it, that's the size of a, that, that's the size of an atom. So uh, so that's a pretty short, like a, that's like size of a hydrogen atom. So uh, the methane would basically, uh, wait, sorry, I'm 
this is the size of methane. Um, so comparing it to the size of a hydrogen atom, which is 0.5 times 10 to the minus 10 meters. So it's uh, compared to hydrogen atom, it's like four times as large. So I guess that's how I would make sense of this number. Maybe that makes sense, maybe not, I don't know. I'm not a chemist either. Know the formula for methane, unless it's uh, NH4. If it is, then I think it is, makes perfect sense. If it's not, then I'm not sure. 